This is Tanasi Kokonakis. Sitting currently at 85th in the world, he got his first singles ATP point at just 15 years old and was 80 in the world at 19. He won his first and only ATP tour title in Adelaide and he also won Australian Open doubles with Nick Kyrgios in 2022, putting him at world number 15. He's also got a 1-0 record against the Roger Federer. And with us both being at the UTS event in Frankfurt, we decided to practice together and play some points and ask him a few questions about life on the tour. So let's see how it went. But first, whilst Kokonakis was warming up, hit a few balls with this guy, the fake Rafa. Oh. Hello, everybody. AKA Elliot Loney. And he also showed me his serve techers. But once that was out of the way, me and Tanasi started to strike some balls, and instantly, these courts were so much faster than the other site you saw me play on last week. But Kokonakis strikes such a clean ball. We hit up and down the middle for about 10, 15 minutes. The aim here was to build up some points, since he was obviously here for the UTS event. And the rules are slightly different, so we were gonna try and play in their format once again, like we did with Mazzetti. And just hitting up and down, I could feel the weight of shot, and I knew it was gonna be tough. We then went into some cross courts, striking a few forehands, a few backhands. he just come off a pretty late flight and he was pretty jet lagged. I kind of told myself here, let's just be a little bit competitive, see if I can move into the court, come forward to the net and uh, yeah, warm up the volleys as well. Obviously with Kokonakis being a doubles Grand Slam champion, I was looking forward to seeing how good his volleys were. And of course, myself, loving doubles, loving volleying. Had to warm up some volleys myself and also get some good putaways in there as well. Some good confidence for some points. I mean, first off, obviously, you've played some pretty big matches. I'm sure this will be a bit painful. Oh, I know where you're going. Murray the Murray Aussie Open. The yeah. Murray Aussie Open. Yeah. Just explain to me a little bit how you felt like afterwards or during the match. I'm sure that was, that was tough. Yeah, that was, a, that was a rough one, but I actually really enjoyed it. One of my favorite matches I've ever played. I was playing great. Um, Felt really good, two sets to love up. Break up in the third, lost the break, another break up serving for the match. I got nervous. He started playing super aggressive. Played to all hours of the night, yeah, incredible match. That was a shattering match. Finishing at four in the morning, obviously didn't get much sleep. I ended up getting McFlurry from McDonald's a bit later. <laughs> Ran into a few betters that uh, that bet for me to win. So oh, I, I, yeah, <laughs> so, worse. Yeah, so I copped a bit of abuse at the front of the Macca's line, which I wasn't having a bar off. And then me and Andy shared a pretty special moment in the locker room, you know, he just finished his ice bath. I was like, I'm not recovering because I don't have another match for a while and I'm going to be pretty pissed off. So I was sitting there shattered and he hobbled over to me, gave me a big hug and embrace. So that was a, that was a pretty, pretty special moment. So we decided to play some points just to start off, get a feel for the court and also the UTS rules of only having one serve. Each person plays a service point from each side, but we didn't really count the score. We were just playing. These balls that we were using were old balls. They didn't actually provide us with new balls at the practice site. So we were waiting for someone to come and bring us some new balls for the proper quarter that we were gonna play. The one thing I noticed playing against someone of Kokonakis' level is just how little time I had. Every ball he's stepping in, you can see me just scrambling side to side here. You know, it was almost really difficult for me to just kind of keep up and I like to usually be the one in control because he did put me under some serious pressure. And also guys, I want to know what you think the score is going to be between me and Tanasi when we play a full UTS style quarter later in the video. Drop a comment below. If you can go with any tennis player, but it's one of the big three, who would, who would you want to go out with? One of the big three. I've heard Rafa doesn't mind, mind a night out. Uh, I had one night out with him in Acapulco a while ago at the players party thing. He was, didn't mind a tequila. <laughs> Obviously within reason, in tournaments. <laughs> Feds is like classy, so he would stick for like a wine or a champagne. Yeah. I reckon Novak would be loose. Yeah. So I reckon Novak I've would seen be, some of his party yeah, after winning Olympic gold. I've seen some videos, <laughs> I reckon Novak would be a fun, fun night out. Favorite cheat meal after a tournament? I've got what's a your, what's your go-to? Man, the problem is I say all my travel days are cheat days, but I have a lot of travel days. Anything heavy on the car, Honestly, like pizzas, donuts, I'm a big donut yeah, guy. Yeah. Anything just shitty. So going into this proper UTS style quarter, 
I had pretty high expectations, having just played probably some of the best tennis of my life against Mazzetti. However, the conditions were slightly different, and I was playing against a completely different player, and Kokonakis was a lot more aggressive. Mazzetti was a little bit more of a field player. He'd allow me some space to breathe. Kokonakis just went big to the spot, a little bit like myself. So it was really tough to deal with it, but I had a good feel this day. I uh, managed to put that backhand lob over him, which is, I'd say, pretty uncharacteristic uh, for myself. I don't think I've ever hit a backhand lob. But real here, beginning of this uh, quarter, I just began to turn it on. Oh. <laughs> and with Kalkanakis going on a little side quest, he then proceeds to humiliate me on the next point which is pretty much a definition of what it's like to play against these top guys. You kind of feel like you're in with a chance until they do stuff like that. But, you know, you can see me here 6-3, just really hustling as much as possible. Him coming forwards, you know, on these fast courts, coming forwards was going to be a super useful play. I was a little bit nervous to come forwards just because of how good his quality of passing shots were. I didn't exactly want to just get absolutely, you know, nailed at the net. But you can see how fast, you know, he's hitting the ball and how much I'm having to move and scramble. Uh, this angle really just shows the speed and pace of the shot that we're hitting. And here, you know, finding my opportunity, coming forward to the net, really not doing enough with the volley, but getting away with it. Now, as you will have seen in last week's video, I'm going to be giving away three tennis balls signed by Kokonakis himself. And all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to the channel, drop a comment on this YouTube video, and also drop the video a like. And I'll let you guys know in next week's video who won. My aim here was just to kind of hang in with him, um, you know, basically just see how many points, you know, I can win against such a high caliber player. Backhands down the line like that were just insane. His pinpoint accuracy. Just the one-twos. This is the one thing I can take towards my game is just working on those one-twos. Um, I think I have the hustling part down, you know, making sure that, you know, my defense to offense is pretty good. But I think just being a little bit more clinical on my offense and um, off the backhand using two hands to defend. And that ball hit me square in the face. From here, I'll let you watch the rest. At least I can run. With this up here, the tiebreak ending 15-17 to Tanasi. Not quite getting it done, but a pretty good effort, I think. Last question. Is there a doubles career after singles? No. No? no, no you don't want it? No, not no, even no. If, Nick, if Nick comes no, no, and says, no, no. Let's, let's do like, let's do one year just dubs. Not one year, no chance. <laughs> there might be one Aussie Open less. I like being home too much. I um, want to try and get a career in media or something like that after I'm done and talk a bit of rubbish on radio, so whatever it is. Uh, my friends always tell me I've got a head for radio, so I'll take it. But I appreciate Thank you, the man. hit. Thanks for the stuff, it. and uh, yeah, Thank hopefully you. you can go all the way this week. Good man. Thank, Thank you. you. And now for the winners of last week's giveaway, these hand-signed Mazzetti tennis balls. These are the three people that I went through over a thousand comments and pretty much randomly chose. Drop a comment on this video with your Instagram handle, and I'll send you a DM to send you this signed ball. I hope you guys enjoy. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.